Hey everyone, welcome back to another Barrel vs. Barrel. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Eclipse Quake Barrel and we're going to be comparing it to the Nemesis Barrel. And if you're familiar with these two barrels, generally they kind of seem super, super similar. Like they're both rifled, they're both for first strikes. Uh, the rifling on the inside, like if you look at it, well, I'm sure we'll put a picture up, but like they look very, very similar, if not exactly identical. So we wanted to see like, do they perform identically or are there differences between the two of them? Or is it essentially the same barrel? Um, we are using the 11 inch Quake barrel and the eight inch Nemesis. I know that sounds weird, but they are basically the same length barrel. It's just when this 11 counts the tip, whereas the Nemesis, the eight doesn't count the tip. So they're actually both 11 inch barrels. So I know that sounds weird, but just is the way it is. Uh, we're gonna be shooting it out of an MG100. Obviously, we want something super consistent for this. And we've got a scope on there. It's cronied to 280. And we've thrown a target up down there. So like, yeah, we're gonna basically, we're gonna crack some rounds through both of them. We're gonna see, are they essentially the same barrel? Are they different? Which one's better? So uh, we're gonna start with the Quake. Always, always got the first strike loaded. And uh, yeah, let's start shooting. Ow. Here it goes. Okie dokie. All right. So uh, before I talk about the results of that, um, I will mention I just took this scope off of a different marker entirely and just slapped it on this one. So like it was still pretty zeroed, but like not exactly. I'm sure you guys noticed that like all of my shots are like a bit to the left of center. However, uh, I mean, I think you guys can see that, right? Like there is definitely a big difference between like the Quake and the Nemesis. Like neither of them are like the Quake's not bad, but the Nemesis is definitely better. Like that grouping is a lot tighter. It's basically just one big mash of paint as opposed to a bunch of little like hits all over the target. Like it's a, it's a significant difference. And the reason for that difference, even though they look like at first glance, they're basically the same barrel is the tip. It's just the tip wink. Um, so basically like on the Quake barrel, the tip is like, it's a much larger bore than the actual barrel itself. So like it's not, really doing anything. It's really just cosmetic and it's not really affecting the round at all. Whereas on the Nemesis, like this tip absolutely does something. And if you have a Nemesis barrel and you've ever taken the tip off and then shot it that way, you can see that. You can see there's actually quite a significant difference. This tip is basically the same bore size as the Nemesis. So like a first strike is still like incredibly close bore, like uh, in terms of size to this. I'm sure we'll like show you in a second. I'll get some pictures of something, but like, Essentially, it's the same bore size as the barrel, and this porting is what's gonna help give that first strike a nice stable spin. It's gonna basically help with the spin. So the tip does a lot on a Nemesis barrel and not so much on the Quake barrel. The other difference in the tips that like I do have to mention, the Quake barrel, that tip is its own like proprietary like Eclipse threading. So basically only Eclipse tips can go on the Quake barrel, whereas with the Nemesis, it's the same threading as Lapco. So essentially, if you've got a Lapco tip or a first strike like tip or like, yeah, like you can basically put a lot more stuff on this one because it's the same threading as Lapco and first strike uses. Uh, whereas with the Eclipse, you can't really do that. You're more limited to like the Eclipse tips. So, you know, things to consider. Both good, 
both great barrels. First strike's flying straight, but like, I mean, you can see there's definitely a difference between like the Quake and the Nemi. So like, yeah, what do you guys think about that? Like, were you expecting that? Did you like, have, has anyone out there used both of them and like has experience running both of them in an actual game? Like, do you see that kind of major, major difference or like, do they both kind of get the job done? So like, we'd love to hear about it in the comments and as always, thanks for watching.